about what do you do in your free time and you can't help but want to just come to the cupola and, and look outside as much as you can and a lot of folks I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the earth I try to come in here and just guess after being here for a little while you can sort of figure it out you can tell different cloud types over different continents you can tell different soil types over different continents so let's see and then of course there's a lot of ocean so usually we're over the ocean at first glance I will tell you in just a moment where we are there we go so right now we are right over Africa it's a little bit cloudy as you can tell but we're right over the continent of Africa hey what's that I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today. Oh my gosh. We might have to go take a look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit smaller than the rest of uh, the spacecraft, the space station. So you'll see um, if we go there, it will be a little bit more crammed. But we're going, you can look all the way back to the back of the spacecraft, which is where the Russian segment is. And then you could look all the way forward to uh, the front of the spacecraft. Where the, uh, where the Japanese laboratory, the European laboratory, and the American laboratory are. And then back to the solar arrays where we started in the, this morning when we were looking out the Japanese window. So other questions that were here are, um, what would you re recommend as a job if so, uh, and to what type of person would want to be an astronaut? I think people who would like to explore, uh, of course, people who like math and science, that's what this is all about. Um, the, we have people in the office who are doctors, teachers, veterinarians, engineers, pilots. So all sorts of people um, become astronauts. And I think if you, could, you see, it's just sort of cool. So I think people who like to do a little adventure and like to do cool stuff probably usually become astronauts. Hey, one thing I didn't show you, or I talked about but I didn't show you, was the exercise, one of, another piece of exercise device, which is the advanced resistive exercise, and that's what this is right here. This is A-RED. And you could probably see this bar. You just do a little bit of maneuvering here. Stand by. You have to set it up just like at any other gym. you how this works. So you can see you can change your attitude just by going from one module to the next, going up from, from the cupola down here. This is what we call the A-RED. And with this, you can lift weights woo, based on vacuum in these cylinders, just like you do at home at a gym. For example, if I wanted to do a squat, I could do it like this. Oops. I should need some weight on this thing. I'm not lifting with anything, so it's sort of it's too easy. <laughs> One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. For example, single leg squats with just one leg, because the other leg you won't fall over. So all sorts of stuff. You can also do bench press. We have a bench that we could add on here. So you can work on your beach muscles. <laughs> hey, Aki, what are you doing down there? Smashing things. <laughs> this is one of the cool things about space, too. It sort of looks like there's a big old hole here, but you don't even think twice about it. You could just jump over the hole. Or, if you want, you can go jump into the hole. I'm coming down. Right. Come down. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> then you can come right back up again, like Superman. 